Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're anything like me, and I'm guessing you might be since you're here, mindfulness, well, it can feel kind of overwhelming sometimes. Right. Like, where do you even start, you know? <laughs> Thankfully, this text we're diving into today gets that, totally gets it. Yeah. It's all about building a mindfulness practice, especially when life's already, you know, bursting at the seams, busy, busy, busy. And they make this really cool analogy about learning to swim. Oh, I like this analogy. Right, which, full disclosure, would probably take me a while. Oh. But it really drives home this point. Mindfulness, it's a skill you build, not something you just suddenly get. It's a brilliant analogy. And you know what's fascinating? The text doesn't just stop at practice makes perfect. Mm. It dives into the neuroscience, the nitty gritty of how even short mindfulness exercises when you do them regularly can actually rewire our brains. Really? Yeah. It's like creating these new pathways, making it easier to find that sense of calm even when everything around you feels chaotic. Okay, see, that's what I need, new pathways. That makes so much sense, because I've been trying to, you know, build a meditation habit. Some days it's five minutes, other days I can squeeze in more. But even those short sessions, they really do make a difference in how I deal with stress. Absolutely. Throughout the day, you know what I mean? 100%. And speaking of keeping it real, the text talks about this guy, Sam, who's trying to, you know, live a more mindful life. And this guy, he is like the definition of busy, right? And what really hit home for me was how he incorporated these small mindfulness practices into his already hectic routine. Right. Were there any like specific techniques he used that stood out to you? Absolutely. You know, what's so encouraging about Sam's story is how those small mindful moments, mm -hmm. they start to have this ripple effect. Yeah. They impact how he handles stress throughout mm -hmm. his entire day. He's not trying to reinvent his whole life, just bring a little more awareness to those everyday things. Right, right. Like one thing that really stuck with me was how he started using his commute. You know, usually a super stressful time as a chance to do some mindful breathing. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, it's such a great example of transforming these little pockets of time we all have into opportunities for practice. Yes, that is such a good takeaway. So. For those of you listening, think about your own life for a second. What's one small way you could weave mindfulness into your routine, just like Sam did? It could be anything. Mindful breathing on your commute, paying attention to your senses while you eat, a quick meditation before bed. And here's the thing, and this is crucial. The text reminds us that even when we start small, those seemingly insignificant moments of mindfulness, they can lead to big changes in the long run. It's not about being perfect, it's about being consistent. Boom, mic drop. Okay, maybe not a mic drop. But seriously, that's powerful. Until next time, happy practicing, everyone.